Joining us now, Chase McLaughlin. You're here at Funky Farms for the first time. You're playing on the celebrity side. Tell everyone in the world why you're a celebrity and uh, how you got introduced to disc golf. I don't know if I'd call myself a celebrity, but uh, I am a professional kicker. Uh, I have played three years in the NFL uh, with nine different teams, uh, most recently with the Cleveland Browns. And yeah, just last year I saw some highlights of a lot of these guys we're playing with here um, over on YouTube. and. I was like, that looks like a cool sport. I play golf. I like throwing frisbees. Why not give it a shot? And uh, really dove in on the deep end there and uh, got really addicted to it. And now we got a full bag and wife's getting mad at me for all the discs that I sit in the garage. You sound 100% hooked and like every other disc golfer out here that's watching right now. So you're you're in the club. Welcome. Yes. We, we love to have Thank you. you. Uh, so we're constantly looking for these crossovers, whether you're a professional chef, or some other professional athlete. I look to you as a, a professional kicker, different extremity, uh, anywhere where this translates or you see a crossover or a connection from kicking into then uh, thrown discs. 100%, the biggest uh, crossover, actually me and Ricky were just talking about this, is um, being able to block everything out. Um, when you're kicking and when you're throwing, you have to pick a target, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether there's a 30 foot putt for the win or whether it's your opening tee shot. It's the same shot every single time. It's the same kick every single time. Um, but I'd say that's the biggest part is the mental part being able to um, just kind of block out the noise and focus in on a specific target. Because that's another thing we talked about too was picking a target and aiming for that target. And that's your only thing you care about in that world is that, is that target, is that, that opportunity. So finding focus might be a little tougher at this event. This is a pro-am. We're here having a good time. There's a lot of trash talking, uh, mainly with our top level disc golfers. Any any challenges out there finding your focus? And, and were you all enamored by some of the pros that are here? A little bit. I did fangirl a little bit at first. Hopefully I didn't show it too much. Um, but no, I absolutely love the trash talking. I slowly got in there through little jabs here and there. Um, but no, it's great to see the side of these guys that I don't really see watching it online and stuff. Um, and yeah, no, they're just great people to be around and, and the trash talking is just a, a big plus. You said you went down the rabbit hole, you found, you know, probably a ton of footage online to watch disc golf. What was that hook though that, you know, you said you enjoy throwing frisbee, but what was it that hook about seeing our top level professionals? Were you just in awe or did you want to challenge yourself? What was the hook? It was for me because I did play ball golf um, a lot and I still do. But for me, it was the the level that these guys were so cons and women were so consistent that every single shot seemed perfect to me. And I know they would say otherwise, but uh, that as well as the courses, the course design, I thought was really cool, and that kind of hooked me into it. Because with golf, ball golf, there's only so much you can do. But with disc golf, you have trees, mountains, water, you name it. So that's what what really drew me in, and then, and then getting into some of the discs and the minute details really, really pulled me in with the weights and the hyzer and everything. Uh, what would be one tip or pointer or something you'd really love to leave this event with uh, in terms of, you know, rubbing elbows with these pros? Is there any one thing that you really want to walk away with in terms of a tip or a pointer? Uh, tip or a pointer for... Uh, uh, for you to maybe me. improve your game or something that you can apply to yourself that you can take home or take out to the field or to the course and you're like, hey, I'm really glad I picked that up while I was at this event. Yeah, I think forehand has, has been the best thing for me, just seeing some of these guys, world class forehands, just kind of picking up on it. And I felt like even in the first round today, um, backhand and forehand, I was picking up on some of their mannerisms and, and just how they throw and get power on the disc. So just, just being around these guys and, and seeing and feeling and hearing how, how well they throw the disc has, has been really uh, left an impact on me. Well, it's been great having you here. Hope you enjoy your time at the Funky Farms. That's Chase McLaughlin. Perfect. Thanks for having me.